Hey, this is Andreas with Pokeballs.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how uh, the Jailbreak Tweak BTC Mouse and Trackpad, which is a successor to BT Stack, works with a couple of different uh, remote desktop applications. So I have my Bluetooth mouse connected to my iPad right now. Uh, you can see the cursor moving about the screen, and since we're now in uh, iOS itself, um, it now works the way that it's. Uh, meant to work by default which means that the left button emulates uh, um, touch input and the right one actually emulates home button so if i just click and sort of drag away you can see i can navigate ios and if i double click the right button i can actually access the multitasking switcher because that would be the same as double clicking the home button um, now if i go into splash top uh, to and connect to my computer then that means that my iPad is actually remote controlling a Windows computer which is controlled by a mouse uh, by default so you would perhaps think that okay I have a mouse connected to the iPad and I, the iPad is remote controlling a computer so naturally the mouse would work just as any mouse would when connected directly to the computer that is however not the case because the mouse is still uh, just trying to uh, work with iOS and um, the app is designed to allow touch input to use the mouse. So instead of having the mouse uh, control the computer mouse, you have the c uh, computer this mouse uh, emulating touch input and that touch is input is then translated into mouse movements on the remote computer. So you can actually see the mouse cursor for the actual computer um, right here. It hasn't moved even though I'm moving the mouse about because it actually only updates whenever I move the, uh, whenever I actually click the button. That's because there's no such thing as a mouse hover feature on the touchscreen, at least not on this touchscreen. Um, so there's no way for it to actually update the mouse without clicking uh, and also the right button still works as a home button so you can forget about right clicking that way instead what you have to do is long click the left button which then emulates a long touch press which in turn is interpreted by splash top as you wanting to um, right click which is essentially just exactly the same as doing it with your finger so uh, another issue is that you cannot hover over anything uh, it doesn't care if you're trying to hover because it the mouse is still over here on the computer side uh, and also because this actually uses the touch system it is extremely inaccurate when it comes to trying to um, select text for instance or do anything else that requires high preci pre precision so if i try to just start at the beginning of this text and uh, that was actually another bug if you hold it down too long uh, just thinking that uh, you're holding down the uh, left mouse button it will of course uh, turn into a right click but if i just start marking the text you can actually see that it's you might see it on camera um it skipped the first letter because it's not accurate enough to actually pick up exactly where i'm trying to uh, trying to hit it and this is a problem whenever you're trying to uh, for instance, in a spreadsheet, you're trying to adjust the size of the cells, and it's simply uh, it's simply too small to actually be able to hit it with this uh, level of accuracy. So copy the text and go into something like Open Office. You have to long click this button to to paste it. Uh, if you try to navigate the menus, you can see that hovering over. Uh, and the option doesn't expand it and yeah you can see the problem it's it's not ideal um, it's still better than trying to use your finger but it's definitely not as good as using an actual mouse uh, however I can actually go out of splash top just give it a second for my computer to get a grasp on the situation after disconnecting from one remote desktop system and then head into jump desktop and connecting to my computer via remote desktop protocol 
and right away you can see that the cursor changed completely and now it actually looks like a proper um, computer mouse cursor and you can see there's no other cursor on screen because the mouse is actually now directly controlling the uh, cursor on the remote computer so that means that I can hover over something in the menu that works perfectly um, if I go back into the browser and just try to select the same text it gets that perfectly because uh, it has pinpoint accuracy uh, I can right click without triggering the home button copy like that I can hold it down however long I want without it being triggered as a um, right click and yeah you can basically see the difference it's it's much easier to use um, than using the uh, system it works uh, the way it works in Splashtop and this is actually not a feature in Jump Desktop per se because Jump Desktop is just an off-the-shelf App Store application uh, approved by Apple has to follow Apple rules uh, and so on and so forth instead this is actually part of the jailbreak tweak that allows me to use the mouse uh, meaning VTC mouse and trackpad so um, it actually has special support specifically for Jump Desktop where it takes direct control over the cursor uh, instead of doing this whole emulating, touch emulating a mouse thing. So um, yeah, that's basically the difference. You can see that this is, I can hover over an image and it shows the alternative text and it just works the way a mouse is supposed to work. And to me, this is just absolutely Dif uh, difference of night and day because it's just so much easier to navigate a computer with a mouse that works the way a mouse should work and that is one of several other reasons why I've started using um, Jump Desktop instead of Splashtop but more about that uh, on a, in a later article where I'm actually going to review this app uh, and everything about it but I just wanted to do a separate video to show you uh, how this actually affects um, the remote computing experience because as far as being able to properly use the, rem the remote computer goes this is just uh, basically a reason in itself to use Jump Desktop so this has been Andreas for Pocketables.com and thank you for watching